Hey guys, Joel here, Police 108 Talk. Got my partner Bosco behind the camera again. Uh, today we've got another one provided to you by Big Daddy Guns located in Gainesville. Uh, toll free number 855-682-4872. Uh, super nice bunch of people. Uh, give them a call, check out their website, Big Daddy's, BigDaddyGuns.com. Uh, today for you, we have the Caltech PMR30. Uh, so give us just a sec, we'll go over some specs with you, and then we'll go over to the range and have some fun with it. Be right back. Hey guys, here we are back with you, going to cover uh, some specs for the PMR30. Uh, PMR30, it is a full-size semi-automatic handgun. Most of you guys already know it's manufactured by kel which is in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, they came out with it in 2011. It's chambered in uh, 22 mag. Uh, magazine capacity is 30 rounds. Uh, the slide is pre-drilled to allow, and there's several different red dots and other things you can mount on it. It has the European or the heel magazine release. The uh, twist rate on the barrel is 1 to 11. Made here in the good old US of A. Uh, some specs on it. Weight empty is 0.851 pounds. Loaded with a 30 round mag it's 1.22 pounds. Overall length of it is 7.9 inches with an actual barrel length of 4.3 inches. Width of it is 1.3. Height of it is 5.8. And you notice it's uh, got a manual safety on it. It's single action only. Uh, as I pointed out, manual safety, it does come with fiber optics on it, and it also has a uh, something of a, a muzzle brake on the end of the barrel. So give us just a sec, let us load up some mags, and we'll go over to the range and see how it does. Be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back to Police 10A Talk, this is Officer Bosco. Uh, for behind the camera, now me and Joel have switched. Our uh, camera camera person is out today, so it's just me and Joel doing doing the duo today. So we're doing camera duty as well as uh, shooting duties. Uh, so, anyways, I'm gonna get ready to load this up. I've never shot one of these before, so it should be pretty proved to be pretty interesting. I've heard good and bad things about this pistol, so we'll uh, get to check it out ourselves for once. So, uh, um, just give me a second. I'm gonna load up and uh, plink some rounds through it. So, stand by. Going hot. Hot. That's uh, complete 30 rounds. Um, on this thing, like uh, Officer Dole was saying, there is a heel clip release. Uh, the nice thing is the, gut, the mag actually drops free from it. Most of the heel clips, you got to push this and grab the mag. That's actually kind of a nice feature about this, the fact the mag completely goes free on its own. Um, so anyways, I put 30 rounds through it. Officer Dole's going to shoot, so just stand by. And uh, welcome back to Police 10 8 Talk. Hey guys, Joel here, Police 10 8 Talk, fixing to take my turn with the PMR. Uh, one thing we may not have mentioned is you can see you've got ambidextrous safeties and also your slide lock slide release is mounted up here. So we're going to give it a give it a try here, see what happens. Range is hot. Range is hot.
is nice out of Jackson Mag. All right, guys, give us just a sec. We'll go check out some targets and give you some impressions. Be right back with you. Hey, everybody, this is Officer Bosco. Uh, today we're doing a little uh, review on the Caltech PMR 30. And now we're going to be looking at the, uh, as I say, the proofs in the pudding. We're going to be looking at the target. Um, this thing's a tack driver. I, I was very impressed. Um, uh, basically, the trigger's actually not too bad. The recoil is about non existent. I mean, it's a 22 Magnum. It's got a little bit of a sharp recoil, but nothing much. I mean, nothing too fancy. Uh, that's actually my group of the top group. This is Officer Joel's group at the bottom. And like I said, this thing, this thing's a tack driver. I mean, if you get some good trigger time on this thing, you could probably tighten that group up even more. Uh, the only gun I can honestly say I've ever, that I've ever shot that was that accurate was probably uh, Officer Joel's uh, 5.7 FN. That thing was a tack driver too, but this thing's a tack driver as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and the fiber optic sights are incredible. I oh mean, my cool. gosh, yeah. it, absolutely. You can't lose those sights. Yeah, during the daytime. But now you're going to have a little more problems. But anyways, um, overall the trigger was excellent. Like I said, it, it's a shooter. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I definitely give it a thumbs up. You know, the only bad thing about these is there's such a demand for these that they're they're really hard to find. If you can believe it, I mean, they're they're almost uh, you can find them, but they're going to cost you some money. Uh, but overall, I definitely give it a thumbs up. What do you think? I, I I would have to agree with you. I I think it would benefit from a little bit rougher texture on the grip. Yeah, I agree. I, agree I mean, you could throw a little tape on it and be done with it. I, yeah. And guys, as you notice, we both fired fairly rapidly, so. Uh, you may have caught on video. I had to readjust my grip a couple of times because it was it was moving around just a bit. Yeah, the grip's a little. It's fat, but it's it's long. It's it's thin, but it's kind of long because of the 22 caliber car, 22 Magnum cartridge. Yeah, but it's got a nice yeah. shape. It's not uncomfortable. Yeah. I was surprised with the the how well the trigger. Yeah, the trigger was surprising. The trigger was really surprising for a, yeah. for a Keltec product. Yeah, it broke real clean. But I agree with you too. The the uh, checker on here is not very aggressive. It's almost kind of under aggressive in a way. I, I definitely recommend, like Officer Joel said, maybe slapping some, cutting out some skateboard tape. You put skateboard tape on this thing, it would be excellent. Or mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of slip-on rubber grips. I don't like those particularly much. Yeah, like me either. Slapping skateboard tape is probably to be a better, better option on this. Uh, but overall, I can't, I can't give this thing enough props and the it's nice up. very nice i mean it's i mean it's only impressive. thing you may run into if you purchase one is i know 22 mag can be uh yeah, at times fun. extremely difficult to come by yeah it's a little difficult to find but you can find it online that's where i show that's where i buy all my ammos online usually through gunbroker.com is usually where i buy most of my ammo or ammo seek.com those are a couple good websites you can check out where you can usually get pretty good bargains on there um, and of course, we also have Big Daddy Guns, which is one of, uh, basically uh, who provided this firearm for us. And we like to give Big Daddy Guns uh, another shout out. Tony and his boys down there, Big Daddy Guns. 855 682 4872. And they're on Tower Road and uh, off Tower Road in Gainesville, Florida. So if you're in Gainesville or Ocala or Lake City, drop by and give them a, give them a shout and tell them you saw them on Police 10 8 Talk. So, anyways, we appreciate you all coming back. Thanks, guys. And just remember to be safe and watch your six.